When I first came to this country, I went to the coffee shops and I see here more like cafes. You get the coffee and then you sit sometimes, sometimes you don't sit, you just go with the coffee. That was a little bit different for me. If you want Ethiopian coffee, it's a process. It takes time. We call it Nubunatatu. Nubunatatu means come and have coffee with us. We drink coffee uh, in back home like three times a day in ceremony. Before you leave the house, you know, you have breakfast and the coffee, ceremony, everybody sit together, eat and drink coffee. The coffee ceremony is set up on the floor most of the time, it has to be on the floor. Sometimes they have green grass cut, fresh green grass cuts under the, the cups and around the house. At times they spread it all over the house. That's to show that how you connect it with nature. Having the ceremony is really to socialize. Let's socialize, let's talk, let's just be one. Sometimes, you know, we all have issues and come and share your whatever. If you have a business, I want to know about your business. Sometimes we want to know what's going on back home, you know, how's family doing and probably you want to send a little money. That's where you get all the, all these issues solved. This is from Yirga Chefe. The Yirga Chefe coffee is smaller and the very green. So the first thing is we have to wash the coffee and then roast it. You can see the color is changing from brown to dark and the aroma comes in there, the smell of it. When you grind it also you have to really know how to grind it. You don't want to grind it too much. The jabana is made out of clay. And the jabanas, the way the shape is very interesting. It has a little handle, a little neck to it. I think uh, the jabana with clay pot is more tastier than the ones you get here. The coffee ceremony is most of the time served with something. It can be popcorn. It can be uh, some grains. Sometimes they make bread that is baked. There is a small prayer always goes with it. Families to be healthy, for the year to be the best year for us for harvesting. Muslims do it, the Christians do it. It's more like a community type of thing. <laughs> Holy Day is kind of interesting to me most of the time because that's like the coffees every hour goes, goes, goes on and on, on, you know, because there's no work. People come into your house, there's more coffees making, you know. We get like six, seven times a day. Everybody's coming from everywhere and just, just sit in there and drink coffee. We enjoyed that. If you want to come in your coffee, think of it like half an hour is gone, okay? And then after that probably they'll serve you food too.